All right, so for ortho one, we are going to recreate the drawing that we created in our class lecture up on the chalkboard or up on the whiteboard. And all I did was I gave measurements to the sketch that we drew up on the board. So we can see that the front view is five inches long by four inches tall. We can see that the side view is three inches wide. The notch at the top is one inch wide by one inch deep. Uh, we can see that the circle is a one and a half inch diameter circle and it is one and a half, the center is one and a half inches in from the right side of the top view. We can see that there's a 45 degree chamfer that we cut on the corner here and we came up an inch and a half to start that 45 degree line. It looks like we have two and a half inches for this top section, which means the bottom section is also two and a half. And it looks like this bottom section is two inches tall and because the whole thing is four inches. That means the top section is also gonna be two inches tall. So let's take this, we'll open up AutoCAD, get our title block going. And we will draw this in, in AutoCAD. So here's my ortho one uh, title block. I'm gonna start with the front view. I'm gonna start fairly low to the bottom down here. I'm gonna draw a five inch line by two inches. 2.5 by 2 by 2.5 and then back down. So it's five. These are each two inches tall and these are each two and a half inches wide. Okay. Um, let's draw the top view. I'm going to come from here. I'm just going to come up a little bit, click. And the top view is five by three. So five inches this way, three inches this way, five inches, and three inches. And then we're gonna come from here straight across and divide. This is the top piece up here. This one's the bottom piece down here. And then I'm gonna create the 45 degree projection line. So I'm gonna come from here over at a 45 degree line up like that. I know it's at a 45 degree line because in my polar tracking, I turned on 45 degrees. And then you saw the green line that was attached to my line when I, when I drew it. That means I'm at a 45 degree. And now I'm just gonna project lines. So we came over to here, I'm gonna draw straight down. From the top here, I'm going to come over to my projection line and straight down. Now notice I have these projection lines. That's because I have our object snap or O snap turned on. I have object snap tracking turned on. I have polar tracking turned on. These are three key um, tools to have turned on. Notice I have my grid on, but I have snap turned off. That's just to give me a little more freedom if where I move. So let me draw the bottom of the side view now. And here I'm coming straight over. Click, click. Here I'm coming over. Click. And I'm from here straight over. Click. Trim excess pieces, I don't need this and this, and I don't need this, this. Okay, so here's the general shape, front, top, right side. Now let's start adding in the, uh, the detail. So on the, on the right side view, there's a one inch by one inch notch here. So I'm gonna use the offset command. I'm gonna go one inch. I'm gonna offset the top down one inch and each of the sides over one inch. Here's my notch right here. 
So now I'm just going to trim. I don't need these. I just use the offset and the trim to get that notch. So now I'm going to project this notch up to my projection line and over to the top here. So let's do that. Let's go from here. I'm going to go up to here, across. And from here, I'm going to go up to here and across. And let's trim these and these. And there's my slot on the top view. And now we need to draw it on the front view. So we're just going to go from here straight across to the front view. But I need to turn this into a hidden line. So I'm going to go to, first of all, I'm going to highlight it. And then I'm going to go to my properties toolbar. I'm going to turn it into a hidden line. Notice it became a dash line. If you don't have a hidden line listed here, you simply go other, load. Here's all your lines. Just find them. They're in alphabetical order. I'm going to slide down to hidden. Hidden is right here. You just highlight it, click OK. So click OK again. And then you should have it listed right here. Okay, so the slot is now shown in all three views. Let's draw the circle. Now it said that the circle is a one and a half diameter, but it's also found, if I get a line as a reference, from the midpoint here, one and a half inches left. 1.5 over. That's gonna be my center line for a 1.5 diameter circle. So when I get my circle command, I've got to make sure that you choose. Got to make sure that I use a center diameter style circle. Started at the end point, 1.5 inch, and there's my 1.5 diameter. Let's get rid of that little piece there, and now let's project the circle through here and here. So I'm going to get my line, line up with the quadrant point here. If you don't know where the quadrant point is, you have to go to your O snap, go to the pop up menu and make sure quadrant is turned on. And then come to the quadrant here, straight down here, here, straight down here. And from the bottom, I'm over to the projection line, and down, and from the top, I'm going over to the projection line. Down. And we need to turn these into, let's see, that's it, we need to turn into hidden lines. Okay. okay, now I'm going to show you a little, uh, a little way to cheat here. We're going to go to put our center lines in. We need center lines in the circle. We need center lines here, and we need center lines here. So I'm going to go up to annotate, the tab annotate up here, center mark. That's way too big. Change the size. Yours probably won't turn out that way. I have some wacky settings on my. That's better. And I'm also going to put center lines here. Watch how I do that. I'm going to click center line. And I'm just going to pick on my two. Screwy. Do that same thing again here. Here should turn out properly. Mine is not. Okay. 
it's changing my settings and my click properties. You, sh you shouldn't have to do that. Okay. So here's my center lines and there's my finished product. That would be the completion of ortho one according to the assignment that we did on the board when we sketched it out on the board. Oh, wait, I forgot to put, cut the angle. We need to put this, um, this chamfer on this corner. A couple of ways we can do it. We can either draw a line up, we can draw a line up an inch and a half and then draw a 45 degree line. Or we can go back to the home tab here. We could go up to the fillet command and click chamfer and I'm going to click on, let's see, first line distance of 0.5, enter, second distance of 0.5, enter, and I'm going to click on these two lines, this line, this line, and it gives me a 0.5 or a 45 degree chamfer there. Pretty easy to do. All right, so there is our finished product. That would be ortho one.